Hey guys, it's Cesar here at Ace Academy and here with one of our great coaches, Coach Gavanza. And today we're really going to talk about the block volley, especially for those intermediate players that we're not to really the drive yet because then from there really floating the ball up. But we want to make sure we really exercise the full entire surface area of the racket. So let's show you a pretty cool trick to start off and then we'll move from there. Block volley to really make sure we hit the ball a little softer. You guys can see the trick here where I start with the ball close to my chest for the guys that are listening at home. Right, you're able to see the racket now. If I drop it from here, you see the ball will really come to about mid-thigh. Let's watch again. Okay, to about mid-thigh right there. If I put any sort of pressure on the racket here, so imagine the grip just being tighter. Same thing from my chest, I lower. The ball goes much up higher, it goes close to my belly button. Okay, so we see right there the example of a tight grip, how the ball can go deeper, okay, to a grip that's much looser where the ball can of course go a lot shorter because now really the hand and the arm and the rest of the body are going to absorb the hit. In comparison to the tight grip, where now the ball actually takes the energy and it's gonna go much deeper. So coach, let's do this. I want you to ideal volley position. I'm gonna stand, okay, right about the tee. I want the first one for you, all block volleys, to hold it tight, but I want the second one actually for you to hold it much looser. So I want the first one out of the air to me. The second one, I want you to make the ball bounce about ideal volley position between the net and the service line. Here you go, coach. One play. Awesome. Good deep ball. And there's the bounce. Now, not much movement. Good. Soften up the grip. There we go. Good. And again. Good. Soften up the grip. Awesome. Okay. All right. Great job on that. Now, we want to make a good adjustment or a quick adjustment here. And coach, you did great on that. Okay. And we worked on this earlier to make sure we show you guys at home the difference between the block and then really getting underneath. And this is what we're trying to avoid. So even as we hit that softer ball with the grip loose, we wanna make sure the whole surface area of the racket is staying right here, okay? So coach, give me a favor. We're gonna reverse rolls now and I want you guys to watch here how we hit that soft ball. Coach, can you go back to the tee for me, please? Okay, you be coach, I be player. Hit the ball right back to me. Let's go, let's go back to the tee, coach. There we go. All right, from here, the first one's tight and tight and the next one is loose. Okay, so here's the next one, loose. And you see the dropper right there. And again, tight, tight grip. And then the next one is gonna be much looser. And you guys saw that I did not move the rack head whatsoever. I kept it really in line with the ball. So I make sure I was very successful. So this again is what we said for those intermediate players, those players that are missing a lot of the volleys because we're trying to drive quite a bit. Really focus on the block. That's one of the volleys you're gonna use the most, especially if you really start mastering the tightness, the depth, the looseness, the, sh the lack of depth okay, when it comes to the ball. Hey, great job out there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay, and we'll see you next time.